day, dear students. Welcome to DepEd TV. I'm your teacher, Frenny, Teacher Rami. Get ready and enjoy learning English for grade 8 right in the comfort of your home. So come on, get your pen, paper, and your self-learning module and let's start to learn and to love English. In our previous episode, we discussed citing sources and writing a bibliography. I hope that you were able to answer the other activities in your self-learning module. And I'm pretty sure that you are more than excited to proceed to our lesson for today. Are you ready for new learning and knowledge? That's awesome! This time, let's read and examine the following sentences. Number 1. His 75-year-old mother is too old to ride a horse. Number 2. His 75-year-old mother might be too old to ride a horse. What have you noticed in sentences 1 and 2? Do they have the same meaning? If not, what is their difference? Obviously, sentences 1 and 2 have different meanings. Sentence 1 states the fact that his mother is too old for horseback riding. Sentence 2 expresses the possibility that his mother could no longer go horseback riding due to her age. The presence of the word might in sentence 2 makes the meaning different. The word might is an example of a modal expression that functions as an auxiliary or a helping verb. Aside from might, there are other commonly used modals that are used as helping verbs like may, can, could, shall, should, will, and would. Modal verbs are auxiliary or helping verbs which modify or change the meaning of the main verbs. You use modal verbs in giving advice or suggestions, in making requests, or in giving predictions and prohibitions. To show more of the other uses of modal verbs, here is a list with sample sentences. Use, really certain. Modals, will, shall, must, will not, shall not, cannot. Sample sentence, Jana's debut party will be planned secretly. Use, very likely. Modals, should, ought to. Sample sentence. The traffic is not heavy. We should be there before the time. Use, possibility. Modals, may, might, could. Sample sentence. It may rain today. Use, strong obligation. Modals, must, have to, need to. Sample sentence. The plan must be accomplished without her knowing it. Use, weak obligation. Modals, should, ought to. Sample sentence. I should see a dentist. I have bad breath even though I brush my teeth regularly. Use no obligation. Modals need not, do not need to, do not have to. Sample sentence. I need not brush my teeth now. I will just do it later. Use permission. Modals, can, may, could, might. Sample sentence. May I borrow your pen? Use no permission. Modals, cannot, may not, must not. 
Sample sentence. You cannot go out without a quarantine pass. Use, offer. Modals, will, shall. Sample sentence. I will bring your things here. Use, request. Modals, will, would, could. Sample sentence. Will you open the windows? Use, promise. Modal, will. Sample sentence. I will come back after sunset. Use, decision. Modal, will. Sample sentence. I will eat now. Use advice and suggestion. Modals, shall, should, should not. Sample sentence. You should wear appropriate attire for your job interview. Use ability. Modals, can, could. Sample sentence. The students can sing harmoniously. And the last one, use general truth. Modals, can, may. Sample sentence, we can avoid COVID-19 by following health protocols. To know more about how we properly use our modals, check out this table and see our modals with their sample sentences. Now that you already have knowledge on modal verbs and their specific uses, it's time to put it into practice. So get your pen, paper, and self-learning module and let's start answering assessment number one. Determine the function of the underlined modal verb as used in the sentence. Write the letter of your answer on a separate sheet of paper. Number one, could you open the door for me? The underlined modal is could. And here are your choices. Letter A, offer. Letter B, permission. Letter C, promise. Letter D, request. Number two, I will eat now. Your underlined modal is will. And here are your choices. Letter A, ability. Letter B, decision. Letter C, permission. Letter D, promise. Number three, may I go now? Your underlined modal is may. And here are your choices. Letter A, decision. Letter B, offer. Letter C, permission. Letter D, request. Number four, I can play any musical instrument. Your underlined modal is can. And here are your choices. Letter A, ability. Letter B, general truth. Letter C, offer. Letter D, promise. And number five, you must follow the doctor's advice. Your underlined modal is must. And here are your choices. Letter A, no obligation. Letter B, permission. Letter C, strong obligation. And letter D, weak obligation. It's time to check your answers. Number one, could you open the door for me? The correct answer is letter D, request. Number two, I will eat now. The correct answer is letter B, decision. 
Number three, may I go now? The correct answer is letter C, permission. Number four, I can play any musical instrument. The correct answer is letter A, ability. And number five, you must follow the doctor's advice. The correct answer is letter C, strong obligation. This time, you will listen to a short conversation in activity number two and be ready to answer the questions that follow. Hi, Ina. Hello, Isa. Do we really need to wear our mask whenever we go out? Of course, Isa. We might get the deadly virus anytime, so we shouldn't take any chances. You are right, Ina. We can't take any chances of getting sick. We should always wear a face mask and wash our hands to protect us. Do you also wear a face mask like Isa and Ina? That's great! We have to, right? So we can avoid the virus. What words are used in expressing the necessity of wearing face masks? We have need to, can't, might, shouldn't, and should. That's it for today. I hope that you have learned a lot on our lesson about modal verbs. Now for your additional activity, I want you to write your own poem with five stanzas made up of four lines on the duties and responsibilities of a student in school using the modals that you have just learned. Don't forget to indicate your name, school, and division and post it on your FB page using the hashtag PoemFrenny. We will be posting the top 5 poems in our next episode. Great job! I hope that you have learned a lot today. Make sure to always stay tuned to Dapid TV and have a journey with me in Grade 8 English where we will have fun and interesting learning experiences that will not just feed your mind but will also nurture your love for English. Again, this is your teacher Frenny, Teacher Rami saying, Don't fret because learning English is not a threat. Instead, it is our gateway to learn and understand more about the world.